It's a great question. The model has taken, I think, about four years in development, so it's it's been quite a lot of time. We work really regularly with um, a wide variety of individuals who make the resources that we use in medical schools, um, and Elsevier are one of those, and we've been using their Complete Anatomy um, app for a number of years. They're all of those groups are really good at listening to our feedback about what we need as educators and for quite a long time the area of ensuring that we are teaching and all of our resources are really representing a diverse population of patients so um, i know from them that it was actually through many conversations with educators out there saying this is what we this is what we need The history of medicine has meant that um, anatomists, many, many years ago, we were learning about the body through dissection of executed male, white male criminals. And that's what the texts were written on. Um, so those images were just repeatedly used time and time again, um, adapted. And I think it's really taken the fact that actually we need to decolonize our curriculum. We need to remove bias from it. And it's in looking at that that we've gone actually the images that we're using in textbooks, they're predominantly white male and we need to start to diversify that. So I think that's probably answers to why it hasn't really been looked at before. I think it's a massive step forward and it means that as an educator, we can work with medical students and allied healthcare students right from their first day of training. Um, we're really fortunate at BSMS. We have a donation programme where individuals donate their body to us and um, our students go through learning um, through dissection and examination of these bodies. But right next to that is Complete Anatomy, is this app. So we can really look in the fine detail at actually looking inside someone, exploring things. Um, half of our donors are going to be male. So we can also really look and say, actually, how does this vary in females? Um, and not just in the really obvious regions of the breasts or the pelvis. Um, the female form differs in our skull, in our muscles throughout our body. So whenever we're going to be learning about those areas, we can be teaching both the male and the female um, right from the word go. So this is going to make a great difference to, to students' knowledge at the end of their programme. Well, having a completely fully female version is an amazing step. Um, I'd really like to challenge um, the creators of this Complete Anatomy to then be working on racial differences within the bodies that exist. Um, we all have normal natural variation in our body. Some of us have certain muscles that others don't have. So I'd like some of those natural variations to be there because actually we're all patients. So this, this is shown in the patient population and to represent different body types, um, skin color as well, and just be able to be, for us as educators to be able to choose how our students view that and the differences that, that's there. So again, it's not always the white male image um, that's shown to students.